Hello, everybody. This is me, MC Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. On today's episode, we're finally solving this puzzle that we saw when we first entered the dungeon, because now we have, that's right, everybody, what we need to solve it. One of these double doppels. Ow, we're taking many damage. Um, ah, uh, please, I just want to grab the... No! Please! Out of the way. So then we're gonna put one there, and we're gonna put one on her here. And ba -bam. What? What? Do we have to- we have to do this with all the water lowered! Darn it! Alright everybody, it's been a long time since the last time we spoke. It's been like 10 minutes. But I think I found my way to the next key. And ba bam But we still need that other key. This is just a side... A side thought. <laughs> I don't know how to get to the other key. Actually, I think I do. Alright, so here's the plan. So yeah, we need to have three keys up there. Oh. Stow your garments. Take it. Um, so we need to go that way. We're gonna quickly switch with this. We're gonna have to re-raise the water all the way, but that's not anything compared to my thoughts. Uh, so let's just double check how many keys we need. There's one. Alright. Check. One. Everybody remember that? There's two. And over here... There's three. So we need three keys. Count them three. So what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna lower the water all the way, because we need that. All right, all right, it's all lowered. It's lowered all the way. Now we're gonna go back to the beginning of the dungeon. Uh, and we're gonna enter that room that we were ever so feverishly trying to finish ever since the beginning of this dungeon. So I had a lot of trouble actually getting back to those rooms, like the water control room with the water all the way raised. It actually proved to be kind of difficult and I was uh, a little off put by that, but Whatever, I'm, it's not like I'm upset about it, I, I was just, I, I was just like, man, this is really kind of silly. It's a silly thing that you get stuck there. Um, so I found out those things are for that purpose, so you can get over without having to deal with, like, alternate routes and everything, so it's a quick way through the dungeon. Um, I need to go down a floor, actually, so let's just fall down, and if we go to... Oh, and this is exactly the room that we need to be in. So I was correct with my thinking uh, with the Cane of Samaria. Uh, we just need to make sure that we actually do it in a place that uh, actually will do anything. So put that there, and then pop open the Cane of Samaria. Ba-bam. Oh, ba-bam. And ba-bam. Key number three. So now we need to get back to that room, and I am going to put in a cut because... You don't want to see that journey back. It's going to be a, a long one. See you guys in a few. All right, everyone. So we're back at this room, and we have all three keys. We're going to first raise this water level once, and that's actually becoming a a, a pre-measure, so to speak. I'm, I'm, I'm preparing for something that's going to be coming up here in a moment. Uh, we need to go get that key, though. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Should I raise the water first? I don't think that has any negative effect if I do that first. So I think we're going to do that. Raise it all the way up. Very good. And now we are going to take a quick trip through those three locked doors that we have been plagued by. So there's key number one. And our reward is probably Gasha Seed. Yeah, Gasha Seed, who cares? And then number two, and our reward is... Moldorm, the rewards are just getting better. And key number three gives us the final reward. And it is the boss key. Now we just have to find the boss door. Luckily, I know exactly where it is because when I was searching for a way back up here, I got lost for a while and I may have found the boss key door. I was like, I was just like, hey man, that's pretty cool. Didn't, wasn't really looking for it, but uh, hey. Add that one to the old knowledge banks. So we're going to head now towards that area. We're now completely flooded down here. Oh, 
And we're also getting knocked right back into the loading zone. There we go. So, I should know the way there, and I say that with a with a very unsure should, because I'm not totally sure. Let's uh, take a look here. I think I need to go left one screen. If we go left one screen, that should bring us to the room that we need to be in. There's one room in particular that we need to be in, basically. Yep, this is it. So we're gonna swim down here. Then we're gonna go around. Actually, oh, don't go, don't go in there. That's a spooky place. And then, just like that, we have entered a slightly new area. Out of the way. Screw you. Screw you! Just get out of my way. I'm done with this dungeon, man. I'm I'm so done with it. I'm just ready for it to be over. Let's enter and see what we have. <gasps> what are you? Ow, he hurts. I don't like him when he hurts. Um. Do I just... Oh, I, I, I switched him. Do I hit him with seeds? That turned him blue. Okay. <laughs> Not quite sure what that means. That turn him turns him blue again. Ah. Uh, don't understand strategy for boss. That turns him green. Do, do I hit him when he's green? Will he dislike it when I, if I hit him while he's green or red? What does it mean? What do the colors mean? Um. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Well, that's interesting. <gasps> you have to switch him so he hits himself. That makes sense in a weird way. This is a very kind of silly boss battle. Come on, launch one at me. Come on, launch one at me. Stop playing. Ow, okay, 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 okay. No! Wait. No! No! Get out of there, MC! Stop talking to yourself, you nerd. Got him! All right, cool. Fantastic. Oh, that one didn't register? That should have been a definite hit. Come on, launch one at me. No, I hate when he moves. Darn it, his hitbox is very small. Oh! Okay, cool, that one worked. Come on, launch one. He's gonna swim first. All right, he always swims first before he does any sort of attack. Okay, he's gonna do another swim. Nice. And there we go, just like that. Once you learn his trick, man. And I figured that one all out by myself. I'm so smart. Yay! What do we have in here? Ooh, I want mine. It is the rolling sea, an essence of time. The mystical song of the sea roars into a crashing wave that sweeps heroes out into adventure. Whoever got an adventure? Actually, many people got adventures through boats. I've lost my sense of humor through this dungeon, everybody. Whoa, whoa! Twin Rova! <laughs> You're too late, Link! The Black Tower has already reached the heavens! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Your might alone can't stop this! Oh, 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 oh! Dear Lord, the Black Tower is complete. Queen Ambi. Well, slash Varen. Mostly Varen. <laughs> the Black Tower is finally complete. Powers of darkness 
come to me! Oh my god, they've made her glow. Ah, the powers of darkness flow through me. The powers swell. Ha! Ah, even without the powers of young Neri, I can stop time. Now true darkness comes. The sorrow of people shall be delivered to me, lighting my flame of sorrow. <laughs> and just like that, People are frozen in time. Bunnies? No! Freeze, bunnies! You're rocks now! Queen Ambie, what have you done? None can stop Varen now! You only wait for the flame of sorrow light! What of you? All humanity can feel the sorrow. <laughs> well, that sucks, doesn't it? Oh well, what are you gonna do? Maybe find the last essence and defeat her? That's one thing. Saving Nehru isn't enough. Farron's deeds have changed the world. Link, I cannot hear the last essence at all, but it must be somewhere in Labrina. I'm relying on you, Link. Don't worry, I'm not gonna rely on you, Maku Tree, because you seem to be very bad at being, you know, good at telling me where to go. Oh, hello, fish. You've done so much for us. Our seas are clean and all is well. I offer you a symbol of heroism. The Zora Scale! Uh... Hello? A charm of the sea. Cool! I'll wear it like a badge! <laughs> I saved the Zora people! Who cares? That's... That doesn't get me no essence, man. You found the Zora scale, an essence of... Man, that would be nice. Imagine if, if you walked out there and that Zora comes out and gives you the Zora scale and then the animation begins. You found the Zora scale, an essence of nature. The scaly texture makes the hero complete. <laughs> and then we go and defeat everybody. Uh, so I have no idea where to go. <laughs> we've, we've done everything we need to do in Holodrum, so no more vacations. we got got work to do. Um, so, uh, I think I'm just gonna head back to Lena here. I actually have something I want to do. Something I want to do before we end off the episode. There's something that I know, I know that I wanted. Uh, and so that's gonna involve my harp. My harp. Accurate cover, everybody. And here we are. So we're gonna find the shop. Are you the shop? No, you're a, you're a mini game. I don't want to play mini game. You're the shop. Hello, are you the advanced shop? Ah, uh, this is this is the advanced shop. I don't I don't want the advanced shop. I want the the normal shop. Where is the normal shop? They have to have a normal shop around here, right? Normal shop. No. Do they not have a normal shop? Uh No. It must be actually inside the the future. Okay, maybe maybe I'm done. I I thought it was here in Lena Village, not Lena City, but I guess I'm wrong. Maybe my my knowledge that I was researching was wrong. Let's check. Hold on. There there's there's extra shop if I if I portal at that exact spot. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're gonna, we're gonna play the song. We're gonna go two squares to the right and then play it again. Okay. Then we then we then we portal here. And then we walk into this place and more shop. More shop. <gasps> Not today. <laughs> we do. I want this one first. Sir, can I expand your ring box to make it hold more rings? It's 300 rupees. Very well. Yay, level 3 ring box. I can hold all the rings. Yay. On the next episode, we go and find the 8th dungeon. Hopefully. See you then, everybody. Bye-bye.